God loves you. Amen. Because there is a, as young as you are, there is a confusion that the enemy wants to bring in your life so that you can lose what God wants to do to you in future. Amen. Because when I'm looking at you like this, there's a word called just. You are a just man. You know, the word means just. You are a just man. But the things that are not... In fact, Satan wants to bring a spirit that wants to make you useless. Amen. Because firstly, uh, I was shown about several things about you. Firstly, there's an issue of studies. Amen. That's eh? true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Secondly, there's an issue also in your heart. I see you also searching for a job. That's true. Thirdly, I saw what God will do in the future, which is uh, it's a desire or it's a, it's a star that God will love to use in the future. Amen. Because when I'm looking at you in that area of the future, in the future there, God will love you to be a servant of God. There's a grace of healing in you. But now I saw a confusion that Satan is trying to bring. In fact, there's an attack that Satan is trying to attack you right now so that you cannot have any of these two. So when I'm looking at you, I heard that I must pray for you concerning two things. Firstly, there is a job that after I prayed for you, there is a job that will come to you. Secondly, when you are working, you have to wait for the confirmation of God about the calling in you so that you can be released there. After I prayed for you, I don't want you to go and hurry to become a servant of God or anything, but I want to pray for you so that you can work, so that you can be able to wait up until the right timing of God. Amen. Because when I'm looking at you right now, I saw a spirit that is coming from the place, I don't know, it's Bush Bakrish. Yeah, yeah, Bush Bakrish. Where are you coming from? I'm from Bush Bakrish. This spirit is blocking, <laughs> this spirit is blocking calls for you not to get a job because you are supposed to be owning a car right now. You are supposed to be working and owning a car. Yeah. But this spirit is blocking you not to have anything. Because I'm seeing you, maybe you tried to change something to do with three or two number phones. How many numbers are you using? Two. You are using two numbers. Yeah. I saw a spirit that is blocking you not to receive anything. Because you are supposed to be working right now. Quickly within this year, it ends. You were supposed to be driving a white car, a polo car. But then I saw the spirit blocking because there are this number. I don't know. I saw a spirit that is fighting. I'm seeing it holding this number. I see 079. I see 014. I see 2794. Do you know number? Yeah, that's my number. That's your number. I'm hearing that I must pray with you. After I prayed with you, this spirit will leave this number. Amen. And they will be able to call you. And you will work. Amen. And after you work, remember what I told you. Wait upon the Lord. Where do you fellowship? In Nazarene. In Nazarene. Yeah. Where is Nazarene? Uh, admission. Yeah? From Bush Bakrish admission. Oh, you stay in Bush Bakrish? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will pray with you, yeah? Amen. And you will get a job, Amen. right? Amen. Number two, there is a lot of things that are happening in you. I had two names, Bongani. Amen. Yeah? That's my name. That's your name. And I heard that Bongani must pray for somebody called Chris. Yeah. Chrisilda in the issue of schooling. Yeah. Do you know somebody like that? Yeah, I had a dream that I must pray for Chris. Chris, Chris. You had a dream that you must pray for that? Yeah. Yes, as I was praying for you, I heard that Bongan must pray for this person. Let me lay my hand on you, and God will begin to manifest himself into you. And you will work, and, the, and the, the calling and the will of God upon you, it will begin to take place in Jesus' name. Raise him up. Come. In Jesus' name. Bring him again. In Jesus' name, bring him again. Come. In Jesus' name. Tell me, I'm seeing something. What is happening with 
with your mind, there's a lot that is happening in your mind. Can you tell me what is happening in your mind? Because it's like this thing, it wants to confuse you right now. I see a map. Even now, I can, I can see it. You can see a map? Yeah. Because when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing that you are free. But there's something that is magnetizing me to come back to you. And I see, I'm also like right now becoming confused. If it was not the issue of the grace of God, I was supposed to be confused. This is the spirit. Don't entertain it. It's a spirit that wants to attack you to block what God wants to do there. Amen. Yes. What kind of a map are you seeing? It's like uh, a main road. Uh, small, small, small road came and tied that main road then go that side. When I begin to look in it, I see small, small stars and inside the road, some small, small stars. You see stars? Yeah. This is the same spirit that is blocking the star that will manifest in the future as I told you about the calling of God. So don't entertain it. Pray against it in Jesus' name. You are free. Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. I saw you struggling. And there's a spirit that doesn't want you to get a permanent job. Yeah? Amen. Because I see you, you are trying to work. Okay. They will allow you to work this thing of internship, what, what, what. Yeah? Amen. What are you doing now? Um, currently, I source for APSA. For APSA? Yeah. Did you tell me? No, I didn't. How did I know? Say a rate. <laughs> say a rate. <laughs> when you say a rate, I saw something to do with Tarisha. Tarisha. What is that? It's an Indian lady I it's work a, with. Where you are working? Yes. I saw that lady taking you as a, a, a permanent. Are you hearing me? Amen. And she will increase your salary. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Do I know where you are working? Pardon? Do I know where you are working? No, you don't. Did you tell me about Tarisha? No, I didn't. How did I know? Say a rate. A rate. When you say a rate, I saw Lindo. Linda. What is that? It's my name. Did you tell me? No, I didn't. How did I know? Parents. Take it in Jesus' name. <laughs> and there's a miracle. Are you hearing me? Amen. There is a miracle that is taking place right now. Amen. Are you hearing me? You will testify a car. Amen. I made an application today. Yeah? I made an application today. You made an application today? Yes. Did you tell me? How did I know? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sir, can I speak to you? Can I speak to you? Yes. I see an attack. That's true, man of God. Huh? That's true, man of God. It's more like, more like a need oppressed. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. It's what? What? Right what actually happened to your leg? It's just started on its It just own. started. Yes. If, let me tell you how it started. Yes. You had a dream, and I'm actually seeing you being chased. Huh? Yes. I'm actually seeing you being chased. Then I'm actually wondering to say why. Then I'm actually seeing something more of a needle being pressed into your leg, and I'm actually starting to see your leg swelling. Yes, I just saw my, my leg being swollen. It just started being swollen? Yes. Huh? Yes. It just started to be swollen? Yes, man of God. You need to be delivered today. Amen. And God is bringing deliverance today. Amen. You are not able to walk? I'm not able to walk. You are not able to walk? Yes, that's why I'm using this. Are you ready to walk today? Yes, I'm ready. You are ready to walk today? Yes, I am. Give me the chair, please, sir. I speak deliverance right now. Smart. 
ஸ்டாண்டப் கம் வாக் when i look at you i saw the situation that is around you and your family which is not pleasing at all yes around you there is a spirit that somebody has cast you with which is a spirit of poverty it's and true. this spirit it always torments you all the time yes because it has now turned you personally into an object of mockery yes because i saw you when you were walking it's like you were coming to church people they get out of their houses to see you and they start talking and laughing at you 100% true and they they always say to you because i'm seeing them speaking and laughing and they are saying where is she going what will this god of makaranisa do for her yes this hmm? Yes. I'm hearing God telling me that your situation today he is changing it for good. Thank you very much. I know I know there are a lot of prophecies and there are a lot of things that have been spoken over your life since the beginning of the year and now you are start to you are starting to wonder whether they will help him or not. Yes. This is the time where they are going to start happening. Because I saw God changing your situation and I saw you leaving your house, moving, relocating to another place. I don't know where you live, but I saw you coming from this side of Winne Mandela using this street of um we used to call it Stota Satswaranang. This street here that comes here to the junction. I saw you using that street. I don't know where you live. I'm living at zone 8. You're living at zone 8. Mm-hmm. I saw you using this street coming to church and people were mocking at you as you were walking. Which street do you use when you come to church? Is this one? Is this one of Swarana? Mm-hmm. You are the person I'm talking to you, mama. God has blessed you today in Jesus name. In Jesus name. You are free from this spirit. at the back there in fact you were sitting at the back there and uh, god wants you to believe in god god wants you to believe in him in fact uh, there is suffering amen there's a lot of suffering yes. and it's like people are rejecting you they just rejecting you like ah this brother ah. you know those kind of brothers you are always this brother ah. yes. so this this is like a curse Where this case wherever you go they always they always like ah this brother we don't want you because they is suffering amen my brother we must fight this suffering in fact amen. now because you are here amen god will give you a job in jesus name amen we are, we're not going to speak about the suffering amen it's very just say yes yes or no no we are it is very bad the suffering that you are going through that we can't speak about it yes huh? yes so this suffering we don't need it because now you are here when you are here there is grace amen when you are here there is the glory of god amen when you are here you are blessed amen when you are here my brother jesus is in here amen so 
You are blessed, my brother, Amen. just to come here. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you now. Amen. So, because now we are praying here Amen. in front of everybody, Amen. you will testify. Amen. Close your eyes. Jesus name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. You are free. Can I speak with you? Yes. Are you allowing me to speak with you? Yes. Because it's like your spirit is troubled. No. <laughs> okay. Um, when I saw you there, I heard that you are going to be one of the people that God is going to use in a mighty way. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. But I had the message. I had the message. The message was, let's, let's wait for God to do it at the right time. Amen. Because you're going to shock many people that they think they know you. Amen. Um, who is Enoch? It's me. It's your name? Yes. But, but I'm, I'm standing on top of what I'm seeing now. This is Ghana. Yeah. I'm, Accra. I'm, yes. I saw Anomavo. <laughs> what is that? It's, that's where I'm coming from. That's the central part of Ghana. <laughs> Today it's your day, sir. Amen. Today it's your day. Amen. Were you playing soccer before? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because I'm seeing you wearing... It's a, it's a black jersey. Yes. With a touch-up of yellow. Yes, 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 yes. Today's your day, sir. Amen. Amen. The message is, let's wait, and God is going to do it for you. Amen. Very soon. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it for this man. In Jesus' name. You're free. And I'm with our brother who received a prophecy from Prophet Andres, and he'll be telling us what is it that was said upon his life. Can you tell us your name and what is it that the, uh, the man of God said to you? My name is Enoch, and uh, what the prophet uh, prophesied me about is true, about uh, the soccer that I used to play before and even the jersey that I used to wear that is black and the stripes was yellow and where I come from in, in the central part of Ghana yes and he mentioned Accra as well that's where my dad house is yes so whatever he said is true and he also mentioned the issue of calling can you tell us about that uh, yes uh, from the day that I came here that is the one who confirmed my calling and through the grace of God he's always blessing me and anointing me so it's true what, whatever what he was saying yes and when he mentioned the uh where you are coming from you seemed shocked can you tell us the reason about that yeah because no one knows where i come from um or no one have even prophesied me where i come from uh from ghana all, all of that what i'm always hearing about is accra accra but the central part of where i come from but that's the name of anumabo nobody have mentioned it uh, to me before so i was shocked and were you expecting to receive a word of prophecy today no i was not i just came to be a particular of of the uh, prophecy today so i was shocked that he called me uh, to prophesy me and since he said that you must wait for the right time of God, what does that mean to you? Uh, yes, uh, I'm still waiting, so uh, uh, there's no need for me to rush in, in, in the things of God. I still need to wait as I'm under our spiritual father, Apostle Jeremiah Kananisa, so I'm here still to wait upon the Lord. Many people are releasing themselves out there and you were told today to wait for the right time of God. What are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those who are in a rush to start their ministries? Uh, as we are in the end time right now, the Satan is trying to frustrate people to take people out from their calling to be used by uh, things of this world. So I urge everyone to follow the things of God because we have heaven to attend. And uh, by the grace of God, I know whatever God has designed you for, it will surely come to pass.